Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about error handling in custom actions in your flow designer. So you might be designing a custom action for your certain requirement and you might have to add error handling in that. And as a word of best practice, I think you should always have error handling mechanism in your actions or even in your flow designers. If you haven't checked out my previous video on error handling in flow designer, please click on the top right corner or I will provide the link in the description as well where I have discussed the basics about error handling in flow designers. So this is a prerequisite that you should be knowing basic things about flow designer error handling and what are custom actions. So if you are building an error handling section in your custom actions, you should be aware of all these three things. I have created a separate video for each of this section and the link will be provided in the description as well. So please go and check out those videos as well to learn the basics about all these topics. I'll give you a gist about custom actions in flow designer. So it is a reusable piece of code or steps which you can call in multiple flows. So basically if you think that the piece of code which you are writing or the steps which you are writing which can be reused again and again then you go ahead and create a custom action for that and then you also need to build a solid error handling mechanism for that custom action as well so that if your custom action errors out it should error out gracefully. So in this demo we will be calling a custom action from the flow which we always do and then we will throw an error from custom action and the error should go back to the flow and the flow should display the error which was cached in the action. One beautiful thing about custom action is that you can customize the error message and error code as well. So for example, if you remember from my previous video that if an error occurs, the code is always one. But if you want to create a code of your own, for example, 999 and a custom error message, for example, you would want to give the application name or anything that is concerned with that particular error. You can go ahead and do that as well. So this is the beautiful thing about error handling in custom actions. Now let's go to service now and see how can we do that. I'm in my service now instance and I'm on the flow designer page and I will go to a custom action which I already have created. I have no input so for that. I'm just directly trying to look up for a record and the table name is incident. So this action which is defined in this custom action is to find an incident record where the number is hello. So definitely this number will not be in your incident table. So this will definitely throw an error. Next is we have this option in the same action. If this step fails, don't stop the action and go to next step. So as the name suggests, it will not stop here and it will move to the next step. If this is a requirement in your custom action that this step doesn't bother your further next steps, you can go ahead and select this option. Now, if this step is dependent on the next step, then you would not want to select this option. You would want to select stop the action and go to error evaluation. So I will go ahead and select this option. Because my next step is about updating the record is dependent on this step number one. I will save this other thing which you will notice in these steps is the step status which gives the code and message. So that means it is similar to what we had discussed in the flow designer. If the code is one, it means this step has error out. And if it is zero, this means this step is a success. And if there is some error message, it will show that message on this message. Now we will go to the error evaluation part where I have added an error condition. So you can customize the errors which will be sent back to the flow according to the conditions as well. So for example in this I have added a condition if this incident record is not found and the code of this step that means this step status is one then go ahead and do the following step. What I have done is I have generated a new status code for this particular error. Instead of sending back one to the flow, I'm sending triple nine and I'm sending the action status message as incident record was not found. So you can customize this error message as you want. And then there is this little checkbox called don't treat this an error. 
So for example, if you receive one error message, but if you check this checkbox, don't treat this as an error. The flow designer will be smart enough to not treat this as an error. So it depends on your requirement whether you want to check this checkbox or not. So what we have done is now in this custom action, we are looking for a record on the incident which has the number as hello. And if it is not found, we will go to the error evaluation step and then we will check the code and if it is one we will be sending back the error code as triple nine and this message incident record was not found i can add any annotation if i want if incident is not found so i will save this and publish this action so when i'm publishing this action you would see a beautiful thing from service now that in how many flows this custom action has been referred so it is referred only in one flow so i will go ahead and make that change or i will publish this custom action and if i go back to this flow this is the flow which i had created in my previous video now in this flow what i am doing is i have added this custom action here called test action for error handling this is my custom action name so i have added this here so if you see my previous steps the trigger is a catalog item which was e separation so we are not bothered about that and then it is also trying to get those variables on the e separation and then we are bothered about this action which will throw an error and we want to see what the flow will show now we will go ahead and click on test and i will select a random requested item record i will click on run test and as soon as it finishes its execution i will click on that to, to see the status of the flow and if you see here it has caught an error on the custom action which was expected and if i scroll down at the bottom there is the error handler section where we were creating an incident record when there is an error so which i will show you in a second so if i go to this custom action you would see there was an error in this custom action and the error code which was returned is triple nine and the message is incident record was not found so this is working as expected and if i scroll down and go to these steps so these are the steps in the custom action i will scroll down and now you will see what the steps are trying to do or the custom action is trying to do is, is it is trying to find a incident number which is hello and there was no incident number found with that keyword and if i scroll on there was an error message which was no record found so this is the out of the box error and i have overridden that no record found with my own error message and this code as well with my own code and sent it back to the flow now if i scroll down at the bottom and this is the error handler of the flow and here I have created an incident record and this incident record will store the code which we had received from the custom action in the work notes and in the close notes the resolution code we are storing the message so now I will copy this incident number and I will check whether the code and the message were captured correctly or not for that I will go back to my service now home screen I will paste this incident number here on the global search and i will search it and if i go down down and here you will see in the resolution notes that were the closed notes that incident record was not found so this is my custom message which is displayed here and in the work notes we are looking at the error code which is triple nine which is the custom action code which we had created so this is how you can implement custom error messages in your custom actions which make it really really helpful for other developers and as well as for the end users that they understand what error exactly they are looking at and it's not a system generated error and that error makes sense for them and they know the next steps whether to contact the admin or maybe they want to contact the initiator of this ticket so that is really smart if this video was helpful to you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments thanks for watching the video